Hello everyone, today I'd like to introduce the key capabilities of the Agile Open Container. First, let's look at the architecture and capabilities of AOC. AOC provides an automation platform to quickly and securely manage your network. What the network programmer sees is two key package types. A specific network element driver, or SMD, allows abstraction of device communication to allow all network devices to be accessed in a model-driven way, regardless of whether they support NetConf and Yang or not. A specific service plugin, or SSP, allows the operator to define the network configuration that is important to them in a vendor-neutral API, defined using Yang. These API attributes can be mapped directly to the devices with the rest of the non-API information specified directly in templates. If any transformation, modification, or calculation is required before the API information is applied to the template, this can be performed using custom Python or Java. The AOC platform provides the model-driven infrastructure to allow these components to be dynamically loaded at runtime. It provides the engine that allows the merging of configuration with conflict detection in case of error, as well as a transaction mechanism that allows preview, network level rollback on failure, and indeed rollback to any point in the network change history. Traditionally, the software development process is complex and requires manual operations. Designers need to go through the interface description, UCD design, service process design, and database design phases. Then developers develop the API code, UI, service, process, and database. Using model-driven design, AOC eliminates the need for coding. It automatically generates northbound APIs, UIs, and CLIs based on the device and service Yang models. With new SND or SSP packages loaded it automatically creates the storage schema based on the imported Yang models. Key to the model-driven approach is that any changes to the network are performed using a comparison between the candidate model and the current stored state. Changes are automatically calculated using the model, removing the need to manually program each specific attribute case and thereby greatly simplifying and accelerating network service delivery. And deployment. Traditional configuration rollback must be carried out manually. Co coordinating network changes across multiple devices is difficult, and if an error occurs in one of these devices, each of the previous changes must be rolled back to the previous working state. The operator needs to understand which devices fail and calculate the remediation commands on the affected devices and execute rollback procedures. AOC brings a network level transaction mechanism where all changes to the network are treated as an atomic transaction. If the failure of one or more changes to the network is detected, the entire network change is automatically rolled back to the previous network state. In traditional coding, each attribute and the operations to change those attributes in the network would need to be coded directly. If a new attribute or feature was added, each of these operations would need to be updated to support this. With the AOC model-driven design, users only need to update the model and the mapping between those models to allow the full management of these attributes. AOC then automatically generates code for the delete, modify, and query operations. This reduces the coding workload by 75%. Traditionally, users can only view the configuration delivered by the OSS to the controller. The configuration change delivered by the controller to the devices is not visible, preventing operators from knowing the actual changes to the network that the controller has calculated before they are applied. AOC provides the operator the capability to preview any changes to devices before they are sent to the network, clearly showing any changes to the current configuration that will be acquired. Traditionally, service configurations are delivered serially and scripts are executed on devices one by one. If there is a problem, this allows a simpler verification and easier coordination of network rollback. But it means that network changes are slow to execute and difficult to revert when there is a problem. AOC delivers service configuration to devices in parallel, greatly reducing the time to deliver large network changes. 
Operators can be secure in the knowledge that if any device change fails, the AOC transaction mechanism will quickly revert configuration back to the previous network state. Networks normally run for a very long period of time. Device configurations are complex and traceability between device configuration and services cannot be easily traced with the impact of configuration, deletion or device migration on services difficult to predict. AOC makes the device configuration history visible, allowing the relationship between device configurations and services to be clearly traced. Using this feature, the impact of configuration deletion or device migration on network services becomes easy to predict. AOC records all modifications to the network in a list of historical transactions. Any point in history can be chosen as a rollback point, allowing operators to revert the network to any point in history. This capability allows any incremental change to, be, to the network to be performed free in the knowledge that at any point configuration can be quickly restored to any previous point in history. AOC provides consistency verification in which it displays any difference between the configuration data on the device and AOC. Users can then synchronize configuration data either from the device to AOC or from AOC to the device and eliminate any inconsistencies. AOC can also rebuild the service configuration instance information based on the network device configurations. Two AOC editions are available, AOC and AOC Mini. AOC is used in deployments requiring high performance and reliability. It requires a minimum of three nodes to be deployed and only Linux is supported. Additional server resources are required for development and debugging and conflicts may occur if multiple developers perform debugging at the same time. However, AOC Mini is used in deployments where limited resources are available. It is lightweight and can be installed on, local, on a local laptop. It supports Windows, Linux and Mac and has all of AOC's capabilities. Developers can develop and debug on their local machine and later deploy the same service in the high performance production environment. Well, that brings us to the end of today's introduction about AOC. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.